Hi guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies. Um, just sort of like to touch base this uh, this week and just give you a couple of videos shot uh, over the next few days and um, just getting back to you on some of the features and functions of our lithium batteries because they have changed uh, in the last couple of months and there's some really good features and also just the explanation of those. So firstly, in this first video, I'd like to touch base on the setup of the DC to DC charger in our DC models. So previously, out of the box, they've always been set up for the voltage control relay or VCR, or VSR um, sensing relay. And uh, they would normally be, you know, once they reach above 13.5 volts, they would turn on and turn off at 12.5 volts. We have since changed that now to automatically be set up for vehicles with smart alternators because basically 99% of the vehicles on the market these days since 2011 onwards are now smart alternator vehicles. But even if you've got an older vehicle that has a conventional alternator, it's your advantage actually to set it up for as working as a smart alternator anyway, because basically what it basically means is the fact that you have an ignition fee turns the charger on rather than voltage sensing. So if you know your ignition's on and your engine's running, your charger will be on for your auxiliary battery. And then when you turn your ignition off, the charger turns off. So it's a safety feature to think, well, you're not relying on the voltage sensing relay because over periods of time, they can get stuck and they'll stay on and they'll flatten your battery. Um, but ultimately also, if you've got an older car and your uh, alternator is starting to be on the way out, the voltage uh, drops. So the point therefore then it wouldn't be turning on the charger or keeping it turned on anyway. But if you've got it set up with the ignition feed, it would regardless of whether your alternator is working or not. So, which is obviously how smart alternators work. So it's, it's important to really check now and double check as soon as you get your battery out of the box, if you're getting a model that's got the DCS built in, the two little white dials, the top dial, if it's a slimline battery, the, the dials are vertical. So the top dial need to be in position six and the bottom dial in position zero. That puts it into ignition feed mode and therefore then you supply a 12 volt source from your ignition, goes into the little red banana plug uh, on the end of the battery, which is just above where the blue Anderson plug is. So that's your way of turning the charger on and off. Um, so it's important that you do do that. If you get one of our box style or SP style of batteries with a DC to DC in it, it will be the, uh, a horizontal um, dial. So they'll be left and right, not, not top and or bottom and top, top and bottom. So they'll be left and right. So in that case, your dial would be the left hand side one would be zero and the right hand one would be six. So it's important just to, to double check and make sure that that's where those settings are because otherwise we do get phone calls and people saying, oh, my charger's not turning on, my battery's not charging. And it's simply because they've just installed it into the vehicle and haven't hooked, either hooked up the ignition feed mode or they haven't got the dials in the right position for the particular vehicle. So if you set them all up as the ignition feed mode, it doesn't matter what vehicle they're in, you know that they're gonna be working the same way. So for all you guys that are installing these units on a regular basis, it means then that every time you install it, it's installed the same way. If you ever then have to do any sort of diagnostic um, investigations, you know how that they're done because it's the same, they're installed the same way every time. So anyway, that's a little bit of information about the, um, the dials on the batteries and how they come out of the box now. So hopefully this has been um, informative for you and gets you uh, on the ground running and out there with those batteries and you can investigate this lovely country that we've got and be, uh, knowing that you'll be off grid for a long time without any issues. So bye for now, until next time.